While we're still on the subject of attacks, before we started, you mentioned something about blockchain C2s that were, were being used. Yeah, um, being a blockchain guy, uh, it was very interesting to me to find out North Korea started basically delivering C2 over blockchains and they're using, they're calling it ether hiding. I don't know if it's the campaign, but it's the kind of the, the attack vector. Yeah, North Korea um, has basically, they, de they deploy these smart contracts that have payloads that are malicious on it. Uh, and they do some sort of phishing or social engineering campaign or some sort of fake interview, or they compromise some sort of website that people go to. And they just have some basic JavaScript that makes the system call back to the smart contract. But it's, it's calling back in a, a read-only format, uh, and I believe it's an F call. And so there's no transaction on the blockchain itself, but the, the payload gets delivered. And it's everything from crypto stealers to ransomware now. And, uh, you know, very few systems are, they're not used to seeing what blockchain looks like anyway, but it's, it's not their typical C2. I remember years ago, Discord is being used too. This is the first time we're seeing blockchain. So it's pretty interesting that they're, and it's immutable and there's no, and it's really anonymous and you can't, no one can go in and fix it if you don't have the, the private keys for that smart contract. So it's hard to, to stop it. You know, 